was my first national tournament. It was 1966, and I was playing in the U.S. Girls Junior Championship. The championship was being held in Pennsylvania. Uh, it was during a plane strike, and so there were four girls from Oregon and Washington who enjoyed a three or four day train ride back east. Um, Christine Jones, a wonderful person and a Hall of Fame member, was our, you know, our, our chaperone. And we got to, I think it was Chicago, and she said, look, our train is going to be waiting really long, so we're going to take a bus the rest of the way, which was my first train ride, my first taxi ride, my first bus ride. So we did it, and as we were pulling away, I noticed that my suitcase was there, one of the girls' golf clubs was there, and somebody's overnight case, and I spoke up and went to speak to the driver, and he said, no, 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 I'll be on the next bus, don't worry. So I may not travel, I believe everything he said. So, <laughs> moving forward very quickly, um, I had to call my parents after being there for a day and saying I lost my suitcase. I didn't carry a purse much that time, so I had the traveler's checks that we used to have inside my suitcase. So I was at the U.S. Girls Junior without any clothes except what I was wearing, and without any money. So I had to call with that. Well, that's fine. We, we made that work. First round, practice round, first round of qualifying, played, um, struggled, but still maybe had a chance. Had a wonderful time, met a lot of people who had the same love of the game that I had, and uh, we had fun in our room, had a pillow fight, and we had one alarm clock on the desk table, and it got knocked, knocked off, I guess. Anyway, the next morning at 8 o'clock, we received a phone call from the USGA asking if we were okay. I said, yes, I'm fine, well, why are you calling? And they said, well, we just called to inform you that you've been disqualified from this championship for sleeping in or whatever. So I lost my money, I lost my clothes, and I got EQ'd for sleeping in. And it was the first hotel room I'd ever been in. And it stays pretty dark in those curtains and those not like my house. Didn't know about a wake-up call. And anyway, two of us were disqualified, and um, I have to take my hat off to my parents because that could have been, I could have had a wholly different career. That could have been the end of it right there. Well, they actually let me go back and play the next year in LA, so I feel very blessed and thankful.